Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. Today we've been working on fashion designing and we're going to design some clothes for our little croquis. So what we're going to do, you need some supplies here. You're going to need something to color with, a pencil, you'll want a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and then I'll have two pieces of construction paper and then I have this cutout figure or croquis that we're going to use to help get clothes on our person. So let's get started. What you need to do is take one of those colorful pieces of paper I gave you and put it underneath your person or your croquis and use a pencil. We're going to do the shirt first and we're going to trace along the arms, down the side of the body until you get to the waist on both sides, the other arm, and then I don't have to trace the head. When you pick this up, it doesn't quite look like a shirt yet. I can see the bottom and then I can see the sleeves. And then I need to make a place for the neck or the head of my croquis. I'm going to set that to the side. I'll cut that out in a second. And now I'm going to make the pants or the shorts or the skirt. To make the pants, I'm going to put this underneath again. But this time you'll notice it's towards the bottom of my person. And to get it to fit my person, I'm going to trace down the side. I don't have to go all the way down. I'm going to go up in between the legs and make that upside down V shape. And then down the side. Pick it up. And now I have an outline of pants or shorts. I can cross down at the bottom to close up the pants or the shorts. If I wanted this to be a skirt, I would connect this all the way across or the bottom of a dress and I wouldn't need that V shape. Now I'm ready to cut. So I'm going to cut out my shirt and I'm going to cut my pants so I can get clothes on my person. Remember your scissors, you should have your thumb in the small part and your piece fingers, your two fingers in the bottom and always, always, always cut out and away from yourself. So I'm going to cut on this line. I kind of chomp in on the shirt. I can change which way I'm coming from. And now that really cut out that corner really nice for me. Cutting out and away. Sometimes you have to turn your paper when you're cutting. Trying to keep my scraps from falling off the floor. Keep your scraps though. You might use them for something else. Maybe you want to make a hat for your person or a belt or shoes or something. And when I lay this back down on my person or my croquis, my shirt should fit pretty well. Now I can cut out the pants, the shorts, or the skirt. Same deal. I'm going to cut on the line. My thumb's still in the top of my scissors, a small piece, and my piece fingers in the bottom, chomping out and away. If you ever need to turn your paper to change how you are cutting, I don't have to follow this line in one move. It'll get really hard to turn my paper. So I can cut all the way across here and then come back and cut out that middle part until I have a pair of pants or shorts or a skirt or bottom of a dress even for my person. All right. Now when I lay these on here, I have to decide how I want to layer these. But now I have my shorts and I have my shirt for my person. I'm going to pull this off. There's two ways you can glue. You can glue the back of these or you can put a little bit of glue on your person. Kind of where the shirt would be. Line this back up. Squash it down. I have my shirt and I can do even the same for those shorts. Put a little glue down. I can lift this up if I need to. And go like that. If you want to add other things with your scrap pieces of paper, you can make things like hats. I can make earrings. I can make a belt if I wanted to. You know, you kind of have to look around. How would you organize this? How, what do you want for your person? This is just my fashion design. You can also use your pencil or crayons to create things like a face. So maybe my person is happy or sad, do a, just a nice face. And I could also take these to draw things. Maybe I want a necklace on my person. Maybe I want a design on the arms. I could draw something down here on the shorts, but you make your own designs. You don't have to do these. These are just ideas. But get your person dressed first and then worry about those extras, okay? Thanks for joining me today. I can't wait to see all of your wonderful fashion designs. Have a great day.